Next question is from FT Reckless. I work out in my basement and this low ceiling with a low ceiling. Therefore, I can't do standing overhead presses. What are your thoughts on barbell Z presses as an alternative? Love it. What that's, a great that's exercise. That's the way to go. I, yeah. I've actually recommended that yeah. same question. Yeah. yeah. One, one of the few exercises that I learned in the last, you know, I don't know, eight years that blew me away. There's very few exercises I can learn nowadays where I'm like, this is an exercise that now needs to be in my routine. Almost never happens just because I've been around for so long. Z presses is one of them. It, it Because of the, the, the way you're on the ground – and how you have to maintain your posture, the the extent, just the extension at the top, the pump you get in your shoulders is just insane, and you can't you can't use much weight on it, but man, it works the shoulders incredibly. And it just exposes all you know in terms of like how well you're bracing your your spine and and, and supporting yourself uh, in an overhead position, and that's then going to be amazing for when you have the ability to, to press overhead and watch what that does in terms of building up, uh, you know, your, your core strength and stability uh, to then increase the amount of load you'll probably be able to produce through an overhead press just by focusing on Z pressing. I actually think it should be a prerequisite before overhead pressing. I think that's how, how beneficial Z press is, is, because when I think of exercises that were either dangerous or client more clients uh, struggled with than not, uh, overhead pressing is one of them. Overhead pressing, yeah, low uh, back is the weak link. Yeah, always people in. always arch their low back and their their limited range of motion in their shoulders and their tight lats. They're all common things: limited range of motion in the shoulders, tight lats, weak low back. Recipe for disaster on an overhead press. And so either one, they end up doing machines and shorten their range of motion up and just they stay in that position. Or they try and do the exercise by fully extending and their low back arches mm -hmm. and they have issues. So training somebody in a Z press first really forces people into good mechanics. And so I, I fell in love with this because I, I found it at the same time that I was working on those exact problems I had. So I had I had that. I was the bodybuilder, short range of motion, you know, military presser. And then I remember, you know, training with Justin and everything he did was full extension overhead, overhead carries, you know, your uh, explosive presses and strict presses, like, and everything was to full extension. And I just, I was, you could watch me do it and I was doing it like a bodybuilder. I wasn't getting full extension, recognized I had an issue and a problem there. And when I found the Z press, it was one of the best strength exercises to reinforce the good posture and form for that movement. Yeah, one other thing I wanted to add was if um, if you have access to like a landmine, uh, you could do like a kneeling press with that as well and load that pretty substantially for one arm. So. Yeah, and in all over all pressing overhead pressing movements can be done in the Z press fashion. So you could do it with dumbbells, you could do Arnold presses, right. you could do kettlebell presses. You could do, yep. You could do all those things. And by the way, some of you watching right now who you, you're, you've never done this before and your mobility may be a little bit of an issue, but you do lots of overhead presses, sit on the floor, just grab the bar and just focus on full extension. And w after 10 reps, tell, you, tell me how you That's feel. That's how I had to start. Yeah. I had to start with just a 45-pound bar, nothing on it, and and just stabilizing over the top and then coming back down yep. full range. and. Uh, but progress that. I think getting strong at that, you watch how good your overhead press and your shoulder development is.